Wait. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's coming with Ken. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. What? 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 I just had the weirdest dream. Oh, what I just dream? had the weirdest dream. <sighs> like, it kind of scared me. Do you have hot cocoa? Oh, oh. yeah. We have hot cocoa. <gasps> it's not a dream. It's really here. It is really oh. here. I had this dream. Hold on. I got to take a step. Me too. Because I had a dream that an alligator was chasing me around my grandmother's yard. But how was it chasing you? It was actually standing up on two <laughs> legs and it was just chasing me around the yard. And that just reminds me, like, my grandmother's yard, like, it was always beautiful. Mm -hmm. And so I'm literally trying to not run over the plants also in their <laughs> my grandmother's yard because I would get in trouble. Run, like, but the alligator would run through them, wouldn't he? Yes, and, and you'd then get I was really trouble. scared that I was going to get in trouble. <laughs> oh. And this is really close to actually where you're going to be running. <sighs> where the <laughs> alligators are actually in. That's why I had that dream. Because yes, 40 actually... years ago, Father said to you, you're going to need this one day. And <laughs> to tell Butch. One day. So. Yeah, I've had this dream like multiple times for when I was a teenager, and now I just have a dream. Like Crazy. Well, well I was looking for motivation in the run, so now I have it. So thank you. Run from the alligators. Brazos Bend anyway, National Park, and you're going to be running there. <laughs> welcome to Coffee with Ken. Let's yes. welcome them. Okay. Yes. Let's welcome. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Um, we just woke up. <laughs> kind of. But yeah. sometimes, you know, dreams can really bring up a lot of memories. Mm. Yep. Who are you? And that's what we're going to talk about today. On Coffee with Ken, I am Dr. April Brown. I yes, am you Executive are. Vice President of Coaching here, and this is Ken Brown. He is CEO. Good morning. And we have, <laughs> we have a runner over here going to be chasing by alligators, <laughs> Bush McCracken, general um. manager. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, sometimes those we have dreams, and sometimes they don't have to do with anything, but sometimes we can really learn from our yeah. dreams, and they can really bring up memories or bring up bring up healing or inspire. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that was mine. That was wow. funny. My my dream was a little funny. Your dream was scary. funny. It was a little scary. Yeah. Sorry to provoke some memories. <laughs> yeah. Grandma's house and it not did. running over flowers and <laughs> and you you with Brazos Bend. And mm -hmm. me with Brazos. Yes. Friends. Thank you. It really reminded me of where you're going because there are alligators all over there. We've gone there mm -hmm. to State Park that has literally has alligators. You can't take dogs there because they are alligator food. <laughs> They're just alligator bait. Well, I'm so, pretty sure I would eat alligator that. food too. Yeah. <laughs> <But> <laughs> no, the picture on the website actually <laughs> has a runner on the trail and an alligator right behind him. Are you serious? Dead serious. <laughs> oh so mm -hmm. that could be a picture it's of a, us because we were did it and an alligator was in front of us, but. Walking across, just taking his time. Mm -hmm. And my brother actually, we went there, and my brother was actually poking one of the alligators. And he started not growling at us. It started oh. like kind of <laughs> vibrate its back. <laughs> Water wiggle is I'm crazy. I'm not going to be provoking. No, we'll grab yeah, a selfie though. But <laughs> 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 with your new together. friend, <laughs> yeah. Albert hilarious. the alligator. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So, Have but yeah, ever? speaking of dreams. Um, Every so often, it's not a lot, but it's one dream that I always remember because of the way that I wake up after it, mm -hmm. right? And it's that I'm flying, right? Not yeah. in anything, it's just me. I could be in situations, it could be a good time, but I could take off from the ground, <coughs> no matter what I did, and I remember the sensation of actually flying and feeling mm -hmm. free wow. mm -hmm. with that. Nothing holding me back. No fear of I rem looking down or anything like that. And mm -hmm. I'd wake up just feeling like uh, inspired, mm -hmm. feeling no chains on, right? Mm -hmm. And and when I try to right. correlate where am I at when those dreams happen, it's at the, some of the most peaceful times of my life or coming out of a situation. Yes. That'll mm -hmm. happen. I remember when you told me this dream the first time, we had actually come through several difficult things here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we made it to the other side, brother. Yeah. No, and we just absolutely. took off flying. Yeah. There you go. And I knew we were home free. You were flying, mm -hmm. buddy. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. So thinking about that dream, not just waking mm -hmm. up, mm -hmm. but going, why does this happen every so often? And where am I at yep. with it? And mm -hmm. I realized that there's peace going on. Well, that's cool that you had an inspiring dream. <laughs> Mine was being chased by alligators. Well, I'll be inspired if an alligator is running after me. So <laughs> yeah. don't worry. There'll be inspiration yeah, that, there. That is inspiring. Yeah. Well, and when you think about 
the law of value and how a dream correlates to that. In that situation, it was actually healing because we had gone through several difficult challenges, right? Mm -hmm. That was COVID and then uh, the former, the founder and former owner of the company uh, retiring. There mm -hmm. was a lot of stress. There was a tremendous amount of stress in us working through that. And yeah. um, I can remember those, those days and times and you came in and how are we going to get to the other side? We would map it out and work. And mm -hmm. the best thing about it is, is here at Destiny Global is making dreams a reality. Mm. Yeah. And uh, that's what this company, when you just, it just hit me while we were even talking about this. Talk about value. How about making your dreams a reality? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about doing that right there for just a moment? Just pausing and realizing how many people we've helped step. In fact, one of our vision statements for 2024 is to help people walk mm -hmm. to without limits in their life to become all that the creator made them to be. Mm -hmm. And that means leaving your limits behind. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. tell me Stepping what you can't out. do. Show me what you can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, absolutely. I heard something the other day and we all go through this when we set goals and we have dreams is it takes no thought, no intentional thought to think negative. Mm -hmm. It takes nothing because when we come up against hard times, if we're not prepared, we'll quit. Right. Or this is too hard instinctively. Mm -hmm. But it takes purposeful, intentional thought to think positive about the situation. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you have to be intentional about how you're going to persevere through that challenge. Mm. Because on the other side of that challenge is a goal that you want. And mm -hmm. it's okay to fail. It's okay to fall down. It doesn't count until you quit. That's because right. a failure is teaching you through the whole process right. of achieving that goal. Yes. So good. You know? That was really good. Failure, failures are stepping stones to success. We all, we all know mm -hmm. this. And mm -hmm. Jackie put out a quote the other day that was basically summarizing that, but it's so true. Um, you're constantly failing forward. The only time mm -hmm. you truly fail is when you quit. Absolutely. Yeah. There's you nothing know. wrong with failure. No, you're going to, because you're going to have to, you learn from that, right? It's, yeah. tri it's trial and error. Yeah. Yeah. It's trial and error. A lot of the greatest recipes in the history of the kitchen were made by mistake or sticky notes. That mm. was a wrong formula. Think about mm. some of the greatest inventions that were made <laughs> yeah. by mistake, right? Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. We're learning that with being parents. That we're, um, as parents, we believe that we're supposed to keep our kids from failing. Mm. Instead of really looking at opportunities for them to fail, to learn um, from them and to grow. Yep. And that can be what we think is um, a positive as a parent that when our kids don't fail, mm -hmm. we're successful. Yeah. Yep. And in order to be <coughs> successful as a parent, you have to have kids that don't fail. Yes. And no. that is opposite for what really is true and what was it true for us. Like yeah. what? What was true for us? Because mm -hmm. we learned through our failures and growing through that it's trials and, and tribulations, and yes. becoming persistent. Correct through yeah. our failures, that not giving up. Yeah, and it's mm. from a, a good heart. It isn't yes, something you're trying exactly to be. Exactly right. It's it's from mm -hmm. a good heart mm -hmm. to keep them from failures. Yeah, thank but you for protecting them. Right. Mm -hmm. So it isn't from a, a malicious spot, right. whether they're kids or adults. The yep. majority of opinions. Mm -hmm. Yep, aren't coming at you maliciously, right? Right, yep. so so good. Mm -hmm. It's it's pressing through that. We talked about that Diane and I about with our grandkids, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. two, three, and four, and what do we want to instill in them as grandparents? How do we want to let them mm -hmm. fail? We're not ultimately responsible. Your parents are, but in our interactions, mm -hmm. how do we encourage mm -hmm. them to be risk takers mm -hmm. as a little one? To mm -hmm. fall down, to get back up and explain to them, you know, because as a child you get frustrated and you do want to quit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But explaining to them, no, get back on the bike or no, go do this within limits. Yeah. <laughs> right? Because yep. especially little boys, they will mm -hmm. push it. But yes. Mm -hmm. But how do you encourage them indirectly with failure? Mm -hmm. Because it's just going to set them up for success when they're older. Well, yeah. and think about people that, <coughs> allow bad dreams to continue to hold them back mm. because your past experiences, you're letting your past experience predict your future outcomes. 
instead yeah. of allowing yourself to heal through those yeah. and really grow through them. Yeah. And that's that's the beauty of, of constantly being able to push into something and being surrounded by a community that will push you there yeah. and keep mm-hmm. keep encouraging and keep motivating. Yeah, for sure. Because it's so important to surround yourself with people that are like minded to help you continue to move forward mm-hmm. and, and challenge yourself to be all that you are intended because it's never easy. No. And it's so necessary to have people, you know, not just come alongside. It's OK. You know, you you failed and maybe this isn't for you or no, you want somebody to, to, to pick you up and mm-hmm. say, no, get back in the game. You know? Yes. Yeah. And that probably is so a true. culture that is all about consolation prizes, mm-hmm. which is participation yeah, awards. Participate, Don't even get us started yet. Participation so awards. Like <laughs> you showed up, so you get a participation award. Jackie, Carmen, and April and I had been talking about that some time back about participation awards, and we said, no. Those do not exist in our home. Mm-hmm. No. You just you get one of those little words, you can just go right over to the trash can and deposit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And again, no. mm-hmm. the intention is good. Yeah. They want the kids to feel included. They want them to be happy, build the self-esteem. <laughs> but what about when they do mm-hmm. something as an adult and they don't win a trophy, whether it's achieving a goal mm-hmm. or something little, you didn't set them up. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. now they have an expectation that I can fall short. Mm-hmm. Where I can participate. Yes. Right? So and the intentions enough. are good. Right. It's, it's not about that. Mm-hmm. But it's about, especially as parents, stepping in and saying, no, I'm going to try something different. The go lesson different of, of, of knowing what it is to win and to come in second place, third place, right? it's the same. It's, you have to learn, right? Yes. It's a process. Yeah, absolutely. And learn how to win well, learn how to lose well. Yes. Right? It's absolutely. a process. It's mm-hmm. a process to go through. Where do we teach stuff like this? Hmm. We do have some training. We do. That we teach this. Yeah, it's called First Steps to Success. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's so it's so good, and it's how we all have grown and mm. learned from our past and from our failures. Actually, how to get freedom. Yes. How to not yes. just have a dream that you can have freedom, but how do you take those steps to really have freedom in your life? Cast off all of those things that are chains holding you back and holding you down. And when that training is, it is in Orlando, Florida. We're mm, so excited wow. that we get to be in Orlando, Florida. And that is January 26th through the 28th. And you don't want to miss it because that is the best way to start off your year. Absolutely. Not just making New Year's resolutions and then. Yeah. How do you do that? How do you make goals, not just resolutions, like they're magic pills, Mm -hmm. but how are you going to set those and learn how to make goals and to take action towards them? That is the training that we offer at Destiny Global. And we would love to see you there with our amazing trainers, Jackie and Carmen, who have also been here. They've sat there for year after year learning these things so that they can have that in their life so then they can turn around and train and and you and I as well mm-hmm. um, doing some of that training. So that is what you can expect at Destiny Global Training. Um, first Steps to Success in Orlando, Florida. And we'd love to have you there. We would. And there is information below. Click on it. Get your tickets. Get your um, hotel room. Make it sure that you, you get all Yes, that. discounted. Everything's yeah. below. You need to grab it because the discounts will be expiring mm-hmm. soon. Get your tickets. And we want to see you in Orlando, Florida. We want to help right. you make your dreams come true. Yes, yes, that is what we are about. That is what Ken just said about vision. <laughs> that Which is, is not making aligned. more dreams come That's true. Our goals. Today we're not having coffee. We have had hot cocoa. They went and got some hot cocoa. I must be dreaming. What is what is the saying that you love from Santa? The just give movie. you a little nudge. <laughs> You need a little nudge, a little hot outside, cocoa. Even in Texas. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, so thanks for joining us for Coffee with Ken. We'll see you here next time. Like, share so that yes. um, more people can come and, yes. and learn about how to make their dreams come true. Yes. Anyway. Have a great later. day. Bye. See you, gang.